Uh, hey, we got Jackson uh, Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer, on our Zoom call here today. We'll have this video up at 995theriver.com in case you miss anything. But, you know, we got the Super Bowl weekend. But maybe, you know, you want to watch. Uh, well, you got your football shirt on. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going Chiefs because of Andy Reid, who used to be with the Eagles, and I did meet Andy Reid a long time ago, so he'll go two for two. All right. Well, the Dolphin picked the Chiefs, so uh, you know I think you you're and the Dolphins got a good record going. So all right, trust I, the Dolphin. There I you think go. you're. I think you're good. Now you know there's some other time during the weekend, maybe to catch a movie or people maybe not want not wanting to uh, you know watch the the big game. You got three different uh, movies, uh, all that are streaming this weekend. The first one's on Netflix and it has Zendaya in it, right? Yes, yeah, Zendaya getting some best actress buzz. John David Washington from Tenet and Black Klansman also in this. Malcolm and Marie on Netflix. John David Washington plays a film director. Uh, Zendaya is his girlfriend. They go to a movie premiere and then the whole movie is, is that night afterwards back at their house, them having a conversation about how the evening went, things about the movie industry. Some of it is interesting. I think it's a little over the top in general with the two performances. It's all in black and white, the way it's done, the conversations themselves. But if you like Zendaya, she may get a Best Actress Oscar nomination based on how things are going. So you want to check it out on Netflix, Malcolm and Marie. All right. Then I see there is a sci-fi romance. <laughs> What's this about? There is. Ooh, it is a crazy one, too. It's called Bliss. This is on Amazon Prime Video. Owen Wilson and Salma Hayek play a couple. And Salma Hayek's character has invented this technology and this world. It's sort of VR in a sense, but even more advanced. This is set in the future. And you go into this world and experience it, and then you come out into the other world. Or is it the other way around? It gets a little complicated, a little confusing. The writer director takes a lot of chances with the third act and some of them really don't work. But if you're into sci-fi and you wanna let your mind escape into this world, Bliss does have some decent moments and intriguing thoughts. Okay, and now there's an animated thing out this weekend too, right? Right. This is on HBO Max, and it's also in some theaters in the Capital Region, Earwig and the Witch. This is directed by Goro Miyazaki, son of the famous director Hayao Miyazaki, did many of the Studio Ghibli classic movies. This is the first CG movie the Studio Ghibli has done, and it's uh, based on a classic book about a girl who gets adopted by a couple of interesting people who may or may not be in the witches and wizarding world with potions and spells, and there's a cat involved, too. Uh, if you like that sort of thing you know harry potter you get into that a little bit there are some nice moments some interesting things that the story does with earwig and the witch even some music involved in this as well again in theaters and on hbo max okay now we have the super bowl coming up and usually we get some pretty good previews that what do you what are you seeing yeah, usually there are, in fact, a lot of Super Bowl movie ads from last year were movies that still haven't opened yet, which is crazy. <laughs> but for this year, there's a rumor that Coming to America, the highly anticipated Eddie Murphy sequel that's on Prime Video next month is going to have a spot. What is confirmed is the latest from M. Night Shyamalan. Are you a fan of M. Night Shyamalan's movies, Randy? <laughs> uh, give me an example. I don't know Sixth if I Sense? am or not. Sixth Sense? Oh, okay. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Classic, absolute classic movie. Well, this is his latest, it's called Old, and it comes out this summer. Universal is gonna put it out as of now, and he's been teasing it already on Twitter that there's gonna be a trailer and a spot revealed during the Super Bowl. So that'll definitely get people going. Probably the big movie-related trending element uh, during the Super Bowl on social media. All right, Jackson Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer. Where can people find your uh, movie reviews and more? Twitter at LCJ Reviews, Instagram at Lights Cam Jackson, and the website is lights-camera-jackson.com. All right. Have a great weekend. I hope your Chiefs win. Unless, I do too. Course... Enjoy the game. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Unless you're, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you're listening and you are a uh, Tom Brady fan, well, I hope your team wins too. Everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you.